Dating in today's world seems terrifying. Did STD, crazy people and unwanted pregnancy not exist 40 years ago? I'm more than sure you're just naive because you've been dating the same person for 40 years and you started dating when you were at a very young age. Without context, a 34-year-old interested in a 19-year is even more terrifying. I recently in the past 2-3 years found my fiancé on Hinge, so I consider myself getting lucky. STD, crazy people, unwanted pregnancy were absolutely around from when you were dating and aren't really more of a factor now. What I noticed when I was still in the dating pool is a strong sense of entitlement and bitterness. There are a lot of people who feel so entitled to a certain type of partner and certain qualities in a partner that no real person who they have a chance in dating can live up to. So they get bitter. Not only that, but in heterosexual dating, it becomes so easy to group all men or all women together under certain negative connotations. And, social media fuels many of those bitter resentments by feeding you content designed to continue to make you feel that way. That's the real issue in dating today. Social media has made dating feel like a job rather than a fun way to explore love and find your person. The smart singles have taken steps back and focused on themselves. The ones still forcing dating will push themselves further into bitterness if they aren't careful. 19 and 34? I'm sorry, but did STDs, crazy people, and unwanted pregnancies not exist 40 years ago? Or am I bugging? A little naive yes. For analogy imagine not driving for the last 20 years. It would be terrifying to think about starting all of a sudden. But in all honesty it's not that bad. I 38 am am a widower after 18 years of marriage. Met her while I was in college. I am completely lost on how to start dating again. Guess I'm just hoping I stumble into another great love at this point. Literally everything you've listed has always existed. If anything, we're more educated about this stuff now and better prepared to prevent these issues or deal with them as they happen. So yeah, you're naive. 19 and 34 lol okay. I was 19, he was 34. I am 34. It is not okay for a 34 year old to date a teenager. True. My ex would text about our problems rather than talk about them. Do you know what happens when you argue over text? Things get worse. The human element is getting far far and removed from love. It's focused on bodies and being in a movie. Why is basically no one talking about how weird that age gap is? like 19 and 34 and they met when she was 13? I'd be worried about him fiddling with your kids tbh. You got married as a teenager to a fully grown man? I know times were different, but that is still just im just glad times are changing and that age gaps like this are being scrutinized for the power imbalances they create. Being pursued by a 34 year old at age 19 would be terrifying. Girl 19 and 34 is disgusting. Weird someone who was likely groomed doesn't understand dating go figure. It's very hard these days. The anxiety is through the roof. We live in an age where if there is even one red flag that the person will completely diss the other person when in reality everyone is flawed and no one is perfect everyone tries to go for that perfect partner. But that doesn't exist. I'm going to help you out, because STDs, crazy people, possible unwanted pregnancies existed during your youth. They existed in your parents' youth, your grandparents' youth, so on and so forth. You're being naive. You got married at an age where most people are beginning their dating lives. 28 M it is and it's why I've left it completely the dating world just wanna state I've had relationships, before a 4 year and almost 2 years, and some situationships, and I've had a decent amount of sexual encounters with people im fucking over all of it now though, and online dating is the worst. I ain't no item in a shopping cart man lol im focusing on my career that I finally got going and getting my masters as well as my mental and physical health having a good time doing it too. Sync FTW. It's the same as it ever was it's just that mistakes can be filmed. STDs wear a condom and get tested pregnancy get on long term birth control the sex part really isn't all that scary. The worst part is the lack of organic opportunities. Everything is digitalized and even commercialized. It's sad. I assume you're in the US, where they kept AIDS a bit more it's a gay thing. But that was a risk, and one that wasn't fully understood what the risk was at the time. But 40 years ago, pregnancy still worked the same as now unwanted pregnancy was still there, and in general using protection is now more prevalent condoms being more accepted. So it's just the crazy people? Nope, they were around too. 19 and a 34 year old getting married? Lol. Jesus Christ, that is grooming. It is. 27-year-old guy here. Most people are pretty normal but the culture is a nightmare lol. 
Pregnancy is the very absolute least of worries with modern contraception. STDs aren't an issue either if you hang with the right crowd. Crazy people everywhere. Online dating is a social ecological disaster, but it makes money so it isn't going anywhere. It's probably far safer than 40 years ago. I was just telling my beer about this loneliness that makes me look back on all my mistakes one by one ad infinitum. Divorced at 58. 59 now. So lonely. I'm just glad I'm married to the love of my soul, and unless an accident or something I'm almost positive I'm gonna die first. I've also got an awesome dog who loves me to death, too. I consider myself stupid lucky for having met my incredible husband on Tinder a few years ago. Both of us had been previously married, bad divorces. Dating was a nightmare, and we were only 30 when we met. We both agreed that if anything happens to one of us, the other doesn't want to bother with dating and fears it's only going to get worse. However, I think there's hope since we managed to find each other despite the toxicity of dating culture. My mom is 63 and won't even attempt it at her age. I wish she would find someone, though since she is literally so beautiful and sweet. So all of that stuff definitely still exists and always has haha. That said, the dating scene today sucks. Gave online dating a shot a few years ago and it's a hellscape out there. Haven't really put myself out there lately and just figured I'd put more energy into my work and into myself in the meantime. I got tired of the cycle of trying to connect with people and it fizzling out for whatever reason. It's exhausting and it really hurts your self-image for sure. The right people are out there, but they are so hard to find. Pregnancies and STDs are still a concern obviously, but if you're smart, these are fairly easy to avoid. I think the biggest hurdle is navigating unrealistic expectations and just today's dating culture in general. I re-entered the dating pool after 20 years. I was in a mentally, physically and financially abusive marriage. I was absolutely terrified. I signed up for eHarmony and it was amazing. After I went on my first date with an awesome woman, I wasn't scared anymore. She was intelligent, took great care of herself and was very caring. We were on different wavelengths so it didn't pan out. It got my feet wet though when I realized how many mature, smart and kind women are out there just looking for the same thing. I dated for a little while, all while maintaining my self-respect and not compromising on what I needed. I had a good time and so did the ladies I dated. Fortunately all parties involved were mature enough to know that parting ways was for the better. It wasn't as terrifying as I made it out to be in my head and eventually my so found me. We hit it off and I am happier than I have ever been. I never knew a relationship could be so easy and smooth. I dated for 7 years, I have found the whole thing a lot of fun, yes there are some odd people. I treat it all as a conversation with a person. I remember a quote from somewhere it went something like, everyone has a story, and when you talk to them you find out that most people are quite interesting therefore I have always just enjoyed meeting people and hearing their story, and if it goes further great, and if not I had a good conversation. I think I also have low expectations so that really helps as well. The Byzantine rules on what is and isn't okay to say to a relative stranger in a dating situation would scare me. From my experiences, you build the relationship online via texting instead of actually going out on dates and then you just move in together. I just got divorced over a year ago now after being with my wife for 15 years and never having dated before her. But I'd guy love it, apps make it so much easier to find people to meet, and so many people are much more sexually free than they were when I was young. I mean there are some crazy people, but you can filter them out and I've met some great people really. It seems like dating was more terrifying back in your days, a 34 year old man going after teenagers. That's scary I'm glad you were happy together. But I'm glad this is not considered normal anymore. My wife and I had a convo last vacation after a few drinks. It was what would you do if I died? It was kind-hearted not a serious convo. Basically, I'd have a dog and be a vagabond. She would just have 10 dogs. I can't imagine my life without her. We've been together so long I would never heal from it. I would want to just be alone and explore. Life is weird man. Edit. I didn't really answer your post, which isn't a question, but yes dating seems scary now. And after being out of the game so long, I would not even try. You don't have to sleep around. Dating apps are great if you have a good profile, you can get a date whenever you want, there's all types of girls on them to match with and talk to. Don't have to go searching around your area anymore if you don't want to. Girls just show up, it's a lot fun for a while, then you want a relationship. Not to pile on, but my fears also include the normalization of infidelity, the prevalence of bi, pan, demi, and whatever other sexualities, if the other person is going to have an of or be chatting with other people on Snapchat or whatever, if the other person is going to be into polyamory, and or if they are engrossed in some kind of irrational ideology. 
Not that I'm against any of these things except harmful and false ideologies. But I am a straight, cisgender man, who likes monogamy, who believes in love and family, who wants an equal partner to share life with.